hi, hello. Welcome to the Makerthon. Uh, Marty did such a, uh, is doing a great job putting this together. I just saw Michelle, she looks awesome. She did a great job on her project. So what I'm doing today is I'm making some um, spring signs. And I am Joellen Martin of Joellen's Eye for Design. And my business got started a few years ago by helping people rearranging furniture or fixing up a bookcase. And when I found uh, Maker Studio and Amy Howard, the products just fit perfectly into my business because I could add personalized items for people and I could um, change up things for them. And it's just been a great um, uh part of my business that I really, really enjoy. So today I'm gonna to show you three um, signs. They're in different parts of finishing for time. The first one is a, this is, I'm gonna show you this one step-by-step step on how to do this and how to add a little bit of dimension to things. You're gonna find a lot of big flowers out there and signs now are adding multi layers to them, which makes it really fun. And then I have um, my other one here that we're going to do because I'm part Irish and we have to throw in St. Patrick's Day. So I'm going to show you how to do this. And then the final one is with um, this. I'm going to put this down so you can see. Can you see that? So I've just started painting ahead of time. I put the uh, the white on here. I used, I used the Rescue Restore Bless paint. And then I started putting on my, the green, and I mixed the grass is always greener with some white. And when you're mixing these gel arts, gel art inks, it's like making icing. So you just mix it up until you get the color that you want. So I like this pretty spring green. And I've cut out my designs. And we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to layer first. And so I have um, this green leaf here. And I'm gonna put it on in different areas. And because the jelly doesn't dry as quickly, I can move it around and have some fun with it. So I'm gonna put some on here. I just put some on my spreader and I'm just scraping it through the mesh. Now, if you've never used a Maker Studio, stencils before, they're very intricate and beautiful details on them. And when you're looking at it, you can see that there's a clear part to it. So the clear is what's going to pick up your color. So if you're trying to figure out what colors you're going to use, you know that that clear is where your, where your color is going to show through. So I've got one done here. And when you lift it up, look how pretty that is. You see that? And then I'm going to add a couple more because I want it to be kind of like a um, wallpaper background. When you add dimension to your pieces, it gives it more interest, I think. I'm going to take that one off. And we're going to move it around. Now, the one that I did earlier, I did the, uh, I made a pink color and I just didn't use, like it as much. So I thought, I'm just going to do the green on the edging. I think it's going to look better. And then I'm going to add one more over here. So now we have a nice background for the butterflies that I'm going to add. 
And I'm just gonna put this in water, be right back. The mesh stencils need to be rinsed off. You could rinse them uh, underwater or just put them in a, a bucket of water, which I have right now, so I don't have the sink here. And so that's our background, pretty green. So to let this just dry a second before I put the butterflies on, I'm gonna just put this to the side and I'm gonna show you how to do the next project. Now we can all find these at Hobby Lobby and all those places like that. It's very cute, but I'm gonna make it look a little bit better or but I should say a lot better. So what I did is I just painted it first with my uh, Rescue Restore Blessed. And then I put the stencil on it and I put gold leaf and I'm gonna show you how I did that. I love this stencil, Cheetah. You're gonna see this print a lot and I actually saw it a lot in advertisements for St. Patrick's Day to do it green, but you can do these in grays and pinks and they just look so pretty. So we're just going to put our stencil on here and just press it on. And again, remember what I said, where, where it's clear, where the mesh is clear, that's where your color is going to go. So I'm going to add a little bit more green to the one that I made. So it's just a little bit, just a little bit greener, not too much. And again, we're just going to mix it up like icing and food coloring to get the color that you want. And we're just going to press it through. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of green to my spreader so I can get a little bit of variation of the color. It doesn't have to be a solid color. So when I take it off, you're going to see some light, some dark. Just kind of here and there. Pull this off and look at that. We have a cheetah shamrock. <laughs> okay, gotta put this in the water. Now, after your stencils are rinsed off, you're just gonna put them sticky side up on a counter, is what I usually do. And when they're dry, then I put it back on its on its backing and I put it back in the sleeve that it came in. I'm going to let this dry a little bit because we're going to do some gold leaf too, which I'm so excited about. That's my favorite. So what we're going to make is I took, I bought this I think it was at Joann's and it originally looked like this, which is cute. You could put lettering on it, but I made it look like this. I added some bling and I, for the background, I did the same thing, the same technique with putting the mesh on, but I flipped it. So instead of doing white first, I did green first and then I put the cheetah stencil on top so it's white. And then I did my best attempt at making a little pot of gold here. <laughs> it's a little bit of ribbon and I found these gold coins and then I added a little shamrock right here. Now if you can't find the gold coins, what's great about the gold leaf is I'm going to show you if you had little round wooden dots or even if you had maybe even uh, poker chips, you could make them look gold. 
So how we do that is, I'm gonna put this on here first while this is drying. Gold Leaf, it needs two products. One is the gilding size. And you need a brush. And I didn't paint this frame. I left it the natural color because I like natural with gold leaf. And you're just going to brush it on. And when you put it on, you can feel it's very slippery. And when it's ready to put the gold leaf on, you want it to feel tacky. You want it to feel sticky and not slippery. So we're just going to let this put this all over. I already did half the frame. You can see the difference. And we're just going to, because it's natural wood, it doesn't take very long to dry. And we're just going to put that on like that and leave that. So we're going to wait for that. While that's drying and my other piece is drying, I want to show you about the dimension that you can do with Amy Howard stencils. You know how everybody loves trucks? Well, this is a, it was from the fall. I don't think it's available anymore. That's why you need to like check out the sites all the time to see what the new stencils are because the holiday ones, when they sell out, sometimes they come back and sometimes they don't. But with the truck, I did the same technique of putting the, the, the truck on. But before I put the truck on, I just mixed some colors and had some fun with this. And then when I put the truck on, you can see the red, that was, that's the color that went through the mesh. And then what was left with the gel links, which is so cool, which I'm gonna show you with the butterflies, is you mix a little bit of water and you paint color with it. And then I just added a little bit of bling. So you can put this on, um, on a shelf or in a vignette. And I'm gonna put mine on my wreath to just give it a little fun update. Okay, so let's check to see how our butterflies are gonna do here. I'm gonna show you. So this is gonna add some dimension to this because you've got your first layer, first you have your paint, and then you have your leaves. And now we're gonna do the butterflies. Now when you're placing your butterflies, it doesn't have to be a complete white space because if the leaf is in front of it, it looks like the butterfly is behind it. Does that make sense? And then if you have it in a, um, see like up here, you can see the leaves in front of it. So it looks like the butterfly is flying behind it. And then over here, it's more in front of it. So we're gonna add a couple of butterflies in here. I'm gonna pick some spots I'm going to press it down and we're going to get a spreader now these come pretty big and I cut mine so it's easier to get into the, the details Oh, the other thing about, I'm sorry, I forgot. The other thing with my, uh, with my little truck, I found this little piece of wood and they're four by sixes. And I think this was at Hobby Lobby. So it also can fit in a frame. So you can frame your artwork too. Okay, so these are pressed down. And I picked the colors of, okay, what is this? Lord have mercy.
and we're going to mix red and white to make pink. And then we're going to do also is the uh, Hey Y'all. Amy Howard has such fun names for her products. It adds more fun. <laughs> okay. So we're going to start with, we're going to start down here. Just going to put some on my spreader. And we're going to push it through the mesh. You can hear that scraping sound so you know that it's going through. But you can also use a paintbrush too, which I'm going to, when I show you how to do more of the watercolor, you're going to see what I mean. And we're just going to lift it up. And look how pretty is that. And then we're going to add our blue. I think I'm going to move him down a little bit. Or hey y'all, I should say. And we're going to take him off. Uh-huh. And then we have some, we're going to make a deep pink. going to add some red and some white. And then up at the top, we're going to add this color. And just mix it till you get it the color that you want. Now we're going to put this on this butterfly up here. I like pink for spring. Spring to me is all about color and birds and butterflies. I was debating whether I was going to use butterflies or birds for this project. Okay, I'm going to take this off. And there's our butterflies. Look how pretty. Okay, but we're not done yet. We're going to mix a couple other colors. And I'm actually going to use, if you don't have a brush, which I don't have a, a small brush with me, is you use Q-tips and wet the Q-tip. So we're going to use a little bit of yellow. I thought late last night, it was too late, I thought, oh, I should have looked up what kinds of butterflies these are and do the, the color that they're supposed to be but I kind of like these spring colors, so that's fine. So we've got our yellow here, and I've wet the Q-tip, and we're just gonna add some water, so now it looks like a watercolor. And you're gonna go in where the spaces are, and you're just gonna add a touch of color in there. No, you probably can't see it with the yellow, but it's, I'll take uh, pictures after. And when it dries, it really looks good. It gives you the dimension. And you can just do the different colors that you want. Add some more as you go. And then to finish it off, I have just my big flower, which I also was able to use some of the gel ink because you can use this on fabric, on paper, on ribbon, and just have fun creating lots of different projects. So I hope you learned something today that you had fun watching and be excited to see what projects you wanna create with the Maker Studio products. There's lots of stencils, there's so much fun and just what can you create? Thanks for watching.